let's talk about the HD Zero Whoop board that has come out. It is the AIO one, and I think this is a massive deal. Massive deal for HD Zero, massive deal for Whoops. If you are getting into FPV, you love the idea of flying around in a small little form factor. HD Zero is one of the three major digital options we have. And this board here really, I think, is set to make waves. HD Zero is absolutely crushing it in two critical areas of FPV. So what I'm talking about, that's this board right here, the HD Zero All-In-1.5. And I have to say, this board is absolutely packed with technology, which is very, very exciting. In the past, yes, we have Cadex. Yes, we have uh, DJI, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit later in the stream as well. Both of those have much larger footprints and they do things a little bit differently in their own sort of ecosystem. HD Zero is predominantly for racing. And what they have right here with their all-in-one is they are also fantastic for whoops. So if you are someone who is serious about whoop racing, whoops in general, or uh, like actual track field flying, HD Zero is going to be right up your alley. We're gonna talk about what makes this special. I do not recommend HD Zero for everyday pilots. For my sort of flying, I really like Cadex. I feel like they've got a nice middle ground here. If you are absolutely critical about getting the best picture, a lot of pilots like DJI. If you are interested in racing and whoops, HD Zero just got a lot more attractive. Of course, HD Zero, when it comes to racing, is the number one, I would say, competitor's choice. People can let me, like Johnny DRC in the chat is saying, HD Zero is great for racing. It's fantastic, but this is pushing it to the next level. So Whoop races are really big. I know like we've got some tiny Whoop events that a lot of people go to. I know Kiz, I've seen him in the chat. He has been to some tiny Whoop race events, but to be able to do this now with an all-in-one board, and I think it weighs, um, it's saying, I think it's about five grams if I uh, read this correctly, but you can now build a quad that is less than 20 grams in total with uh, HD Zero boards on board. So you're going to be getting back some really nice digital little footage. Here's some of the pictures on this, uh, some of the stats on the screen. If you wanna pause, have a bit of a read through that. I would love to test this. I think this looks like fantastic. There we've got a little, uh, some little ways on how to set it up. Here's everything that you get with it. Uh, we have, I was looking at uh, Infinity. I've got this muted, so I don't get any copyright strikes. But uh, Infinity Loops doing some really cool stuff. I know he is big with the whoops as well. And so this is one day ago. Like you got to remember, this is coming in from a tiny little like twenty. Well, this is a seventy-five gram craft, so maybe a little bit heavier. But this craft, whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, yeah, really, really cool stuff from a tiny little craft. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link this video later on. Um, we also have some other little flying as well. Where is this? Um, and we have this video like Mads Tech. He goes through the whole breakdown. He talks about the thermals and everything. And ultimately it is really impressive what they have crammed into this little board. So I believe it's like one thick, PCB rather than a two layered PCB. And what they've done in here, it's made it by doing that, they've made it more durable, more robust. Um, and you can build up a tiny little craft that is going to be perfect for the races. So perfect for whoop races. This is probably the product from HD Zero that really makes me want to jump in and give it a go. I don't go to enough races. In fact, I've been to like a handful in my lifetime. It's not my it's not my preferred style of flying. I think it's really, really cool. I know a lot of people that do it. I'm friends with a lot of pilots who are big into racing. That's their main focus. But whoops, that's totally different. Like a whoop race, it can be ultra competitive, but I feel like there is a lot of fun to be had there and cruising these things around. You don't need big tracks and big fields. It's easy to set up. You don't have to worry about weather. Um, yeah, HD Zero is is doing really, really well. So this is $100, you gotta remember. Also, this is actually pretty cheap when you consider what we're getting. So this is your flight controller, your ESC, and your digital VTX. As a comparison, let's have a look at the second lightest option that is non-HD zero on the market, which would be the Warp Snail 1S kit. 
this is like $109. I think there's a stripped down version, which is maybe $100 with a different antenna, even lighter. But for the same price now, when you jump over to HD zero, we are also getting the flight controller. Now, I think the CADEX picture is going to be better. You're going to be getting better range with the CADEX, uh, with the Walksnell system, but you don't need big range when you're flying around with whoops and those things. So I'd love to know what you guys think. I think it's a very, very exciting time for people in the hobby.